What's up guys, Coach Alex here with Physique Development and today we are going to teach on the cross cable rear delt fly. Now, before we get into that exercise, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and tell me how great, what do you think about this story top? You, you like this color, I like this color. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, let's go ahead and dig into this exercise and this is one that is very commonly misdone in terms of the plane of motion that individuals are targeting the rear delts. When you are commonly training the rear delts, oftentimes individuals are going to work in just the 90 degree plane. And so what they'll do is that they may grab a, a pec deck fly and, and pull the cable or, or pull the arm out and have it at this angle. And the reason that we don't teach in this plane of motion is because when we look at the rear delt muscle fibers, they're going to run in more of a 45 degree angle. And as you saw, as I was moving my arm, this isn't in a 45 degree angle, this is in a 45 degree angle. And we're going to have much better recruitment of the rear delt fibers in that 45 degree plane. And so instead of pulling in this motion, what we're going to be doing is actually taking that cable and pulling down in that 45 degree angle to allow for that rear delt to fully shorten at the end range. And so the beautiful part of this exercise when utilizing the cables is that we can take the rear delt through a full range of motion. So we're applying tension in the rear delt in the lengthened position right now. And then as we're working through, we're taking it through a full range of motion and targeting the rear delts in the shortened range. I'm gonna flip around and show you guys exactly how to perform this movement. <laughs> You're gonna grab the opposing cable with the opposing arm. Is that, is that right? I think so. And what you're gonna do is slightly hinge at the hips forward to allow for you to line up with the cables. What we want to do from this point is allow for the scapula to go into a slight degree of protraction. We're not trying to rigidly retract and then move in this fashion. What we want to do is just allow for the scapula to move naturally. And as we are pulling those cables down, our scapula is going to go into natural retraction and we're going to find that fully shortened position of the rear delt. And we're going to slowly go through the eccentric as we raise the cables back into position. One thing that you do not want to do is that as you're coming out of that bottom range of the, the cable fly here is that just to let them swing back up. Because what's gonna happen here is that we're gonna get maybe a little bit of discomfort through the traps and maybe a little bit of a strain. So we wanna avoid that. When physique development clients are performing this movement and they're sending in their training clips, one of the common mistakes that we see is that the cable is not working through the joints. And so they're feeling a lot of joint discomfort or maybe a little bit of, of pain in those joints because the cable itself, as it's being pulled across the body here, well, that's not gonna work, is more so not in alignment through the joints. And so you'll see here that this cable is above. Now, what we want to actually do is that once this cable is through the shoulder, elbow, and wrist, we're going to have more muscular tension being applied rather than potentially tension on those joints. If you love this video, we've got more where that came from on Instagram and TikTok. Check us out.